Hey, hey, everybody, and welcome back to the board meeting. Today, I'm just going to be recapping my last Saturday, which was uh, the North Dakota Game of Palooza 2023. It was our fourth annual Game of Palooza. And what is Game of Palooza? Game of Palooza is a big, giant board game day that I run here in my small town in Beulah. We actually host it in Hazen, which is the town over from Beulah. Now, Beulah is a pretty small town, like 3,000 people. Hazen is even smaller than Beulah. And uh, we re I rent out City Hall over there, and I invite a bunch of people, try to meet new people around North Dakota, just trying to explore around and meet new people in the hobby, get people into the hobby that maybe aren't into it. But it's just a big, giant board game day. So I just want to recap that day for myself, how I'll... All that went. Now, first of all, uh, it ha we do it on International Tabletop Day every every year, which is the first Saturday in June. This year, it was on June third, which was yeah a Saturday. And so Friday night, I went and picked up the keys uh, from the city hall for the next day. I also brought over a whole truckload with my trailblazer, a whole truckload of games, and these games were. Uh, for giveaways and for a market that I was going to be running this year. And every year I buy a bunch and bunch of games to give away to people, just, just to try to give them a, the best experience they possibly can. And so I had a whole trailblazer full of games that weren't even my games or the games that I was going to sell and the giveaways. And so Friday night, I went over there with a couple friends, and we set up a ton of tables. We set up chairs. We set up the giveaway table, and I set up the market, put um, prices on all of my games, and I was just trying to get rid of a lot of my games, so I was selling them very, very cheap. You know, these $60 games I was selling for 10 to 15 bucks usually. And yeah, uh, so Friday night, we just set up a bunch of tables. Then Saturday, the actual game, the day of the event, I woke up pretty early, and at 7.30 or so, I went and picked up my friend Febra, and we drove over to Hazen, and we started the day off. We went and got a coffee, and then came back. I set up a bunch of my games that I was personally bringing to have like a little bit of a library. It was There wasn't a ton of games, but there was probably, I probably brought like 30 or so big games, and then I probably brought about 150 small games that I have in these little cases. I love to compact my small games into like these little tiny cases. So I just several dozen games for these little tiny games. But yeah, those were just for people to go and pick out whatever they wanted to play and play them either way. But so after we started, you know, it was right at the beginning. It was just me, Febra, Josiah, and Dan there. And it was just us four there for a little bit, so we decided to break out Space Base, and I played Space Base right away. And I love Space Base; it's a fun little game. After a little, after we were like halfway through, some of my friends from Minot showed up. Uh, Jess and Alex and Philip showed up, and they started setting up Monster Hunter. After we got done, Dan went over and played Monster Hunter with those three, and me and Josiah and Febra decided to play a couple small games. We played Abandon All Artichokes, which I hadn't played that for a while. Which a really fun little game. We played a Cabo, a memory style game. And after that, then people started showing up a little bit more. Uh, I decided to play a couple games with my friends from Minot. I played a game of Unmatched with them. A couple of them had never played Unmatched before, so we played a game of that. Uh, one of my friends got to play Deadpool, which is just a silly character. Then there was Beowulf. There was Little Red Riding Hood. And uh, I can't even remember who I was. Who I was. I was the genie. And my my team, we played a two versus two game. My team ended up just just barely eking out the win. It was a very very close game. Very fun game. Unmatched is always great. After that, uh, they wanted to play Wingspan. So one of my other friends showed up, and Liz. So she decided she wanted to play Wingspan because she'd never played it before. So I got to teach her that, and she'd wanted to play it for years. So it was nice to be able to show her Wingspan. After that, uh, I seen this one guy was walking around. He hadn't, wasn't really playing too many games, so I went, met him. Didn't know who he was. His name Brian, a very nice gentleman. I uh, asked him if he wanted to play a game. He said, sure. So we went, and he never played Splendor Duel. So I taught him Splendor Duel. We played a quick game of that. We really enjoyed it. I love Splendor Duel. And after that, one of my other friends, Dylan, actually brought the game Heat, Pedal to the Metal. or Yeah, I think it's called that. And so me and Brian joined him along with... 
It was Dwayne, my friend Dwayne and Steve. Dwayne and Steve are both part of my game group here in Beulah. And so we played that, and he, Dylan taught us Heat. And I, I'm glad that I finally got to play it, because it's one of those new hype games that everybody talks about. It was a fun little game. Not a little game, but a big big racing game, I should say. After that, uh, another couple of my friends showed up. Andy and his wife April showed up. And Dan and Tammy, a different Dan from before. Dan and his wife Tammy showed up. And they brought the game Airbender Fire Nation Rising, which is part of the Rising series of games. And I'm like, oh, I, I like the Rising series of games. And I like Airbender, so I really wanted to try this one. Um, I, I had a great time with them. But as far as the Rising games themselves, this is probably one of my least favorite out of that series, which is a shame because I really like Airbender, the, the anime series. Uh, but yeah, it was a fun time with them. After that, uh, April, Andy's wife, joined us f us four, and we played Hughes and Cues, which was a very interesting experience for myself because Hughes and Cues is all about giving clues about different colors on this big grid of colors on this board. I'm slightly colorblind. So it was pretty comical for me to try and guess different colors and see how far I was off. And I took last place by a large margin, which was expected, but it was still it was a fun time. I had a good time with the game. I can see why people like that game so much. Here comes my pu my puppy again. Uh, next, I joined Scott, which is part, one of the people that helps me run the board game group in Beulah here. And we, I joined him and several other people, and we played a pretty large game of Secret Hitler, a game, a social deduction game that we played many, many times before. Played a quick game of that. It was actually really, really fast. I ended up losing very, very badly in that game. I was, I was the good guys, the bad guys, easily won in that game. After that, uh, there was a group of some young, young guys that came that I never met before. I think they were still high schoolers. And they pulled out one of my games that I play with my kid, Dungeon Mayhem, which is this battling game. So I joined those three, and then two other people from Beulah, from my game group, joined them. We had a big, giant game of that. It was a big, fun, raucous time hitting each other. It's always a good time with Dungeon Mayhem. Uh, where are we at? After that, my friend, friend Freb, Febra, she broke out Battleship the Card Game. And it's it sounds as bad as it is. It is, but she is one of those people who really likes a lot of these like mass markety card games. I mean, she likes Skippo and she likes Uno and she likes Battleship the card game. And I mean, it was it was a fun time. It's not one of those games that I would want to play, but I still had a really good time playing with her. She's she's a great person. I love love Febra. Uh, after that, I joined April, Raimundo, Dwayne, Jake, Tammy, and Dan. And we played a seven-player game of Seven Wonders. Uh, seven Wonders is one of those games that, that I don't play very often anymore. But every time I play it, I really, really enjoy it. And April taught this game, and she taught a couple people who had never played it before. And it took us only about 40 minutes to play the seven-player game of Seven Wonders. And I remember why I like Seven Wonders so, just so much. That sort of engine-building sort of aspect to it, and you can score from it a lot of different ways. It was a great time, and I, I love playing games with April. She's a blast. Uh, after that, I met up with ther several more people. Uh, Thatcher, Dan, Scott, Michael, and Tammy. We played a big, giant game of Don't Mess With Cthulhu, which is another social deduction game. Played a quick game of that. And had a good time. After that, uh, it was getting pretty late. There wasn't very many people left in there. It was probably like 11.30 or 12 by that time. And my friend Andy had brought Pac-Man the card game. And so I sat down with Andy, Raimundo, and Dwayne, and we played several games of Pac-Man the card game, which is sort of just this push-your-luck sort of game. And I was not expecting to like this game at all. I'm like, yeah, whatever, let's play it. It's not a terrible game. It's just a fun little push-your-luck game that lasts literally just a couple minutes. And you can have a pretty good time with it. And, yeah... We, we did have a very good time with Pac-Man, the card game, surprisingly. After that, uh, I play I taught Abyss to Jake, Josiah, and Dwayne. Uh, Josiah and Dwayne had both played it before. Jake never played it, but we needed a little bit of a refresher for Abyss. And I always like Abyss. Abyss has got great artwork. It's a great little game. Pretty simple to teach. Pretty fun to play. After that, it was pretty much the end of the day. There was only like one group of... One group, one table left out there, 
and they were playing a big giant game of Citadels, and I was just kind of cleaning up tables. Me and Dwayne were cleaning up tables. After a little bit, we were almost done cleaning everything, and they were still playing Citadels, so me and Dwayne sat down and played a game of Onitama, this two-player chess-like game. Really good game. Had a good time with that. And by that time, Citadels was pretty much over. So we finished up cleaning, finished up getting all the tables uh, put away, bring, putting all the games back into my car that weren't given away or sold, and I was done with the day. And I'm really happy with how the market went for this day. I brought probably 60 or 70 games for the market for me to sell, and I just wanted to get rid of these games. And I got rid of probably a majority of them. I probably sold probably 55 to 60 of these games. And a couple other people brought games to sell as well, and I know they sold quite a few of their games, and I think it worked really well. As far as the giveaways, every time we do this, I, I'm i buying games throughout the year for these giveaways. And even Scott brings a couple games for the giveaways, and even a couple publishers send games for these giveaways, and thank you guys for sending those games, the publishers. And everyone who comes to these Game of Pluses, I try to make sure they get a game. At least one game. Even if they like leave a little bit early, I'm like, make sure you grab a game on the way out. Uh, please, you know, just trying to get everybody a game. And I know a couple people, they're like, yeah, my wife likes to play games. I'm like, yeah, grab another game for her, too, as well, on your way out. Just And so I brought, I think it was close to 90 games for giveaways. I think I gave away probably 70, close to 70 of the games. And uh, it was, it went really well, I think. We had, by my best estimate, we had 45 people show up. And I think that's pretty good for a small town little game night that, you know, in that town, there's only probably 2,500 people that live there. But we had people from all over. We had people from Beulah. We had people from Hazen. We had people from Minot. We had people from Jamestown, Dickinson, Bismarck. I think uh, one person came all the way from Fargo. So we had people from all over North Dakota that showed up for this tiny little town's game night. And I'm I'm it's my one of my favorite nights of every single year and it's it's just a great way to meet new people. In fact, I've met several of our regular game night people that we have in Beulah from having these game of pluses. The first time I met them was they came to Game of Pluses. They're like, well, I heard about this Game of Pluses, so I decided to come and I found out these people and now they come weekly to our game night. They were they were big gamers, but we had no idea we were in each other's town, even though I live in a very small town. So it was it's a great way for me to meet new people, meet new people in the hobby that share the same interests, and it always goes really, really well. I've this was our fourth annual one that we've done, and I I've liked every single one of them. Like I said, it's my favorite night of the week. And yeah, I, I if you did come to game night and you're watching this video, thank you for coming. I'm, I appreciate you showing up. I had a great time. I didn't get to play games with everybody who showed up, but I, I went around and I tried to talk to pretty much everybody. I taught a lot of different games besides playing games with people, and I just had a really good time. Uh, but yeah, that, that was pretty much how it went. I was pretty happy with how everything went. So that will conclude this video. But either way, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe to see more weekly content from me, Shane, at the board meeting in the future. Hope you all have an amazing day. Take care.